So this one's about the product rule. Now you've already learnt the chain rule, which is where you find the derivative of a function inside of a function. Uh, the product rule, now the word product means like multiply. So the product rule is where you have a function multiplied by another function. Uh, and then we find the derivative of that new function. So here's an example. Uh, f of x equals x squared plus 3x times 4x plus 5. Now this is a function multiplied by another function, and we can use our product rule. Now before I get started, I should say there's a much easier way to do this. Uh, you can just sort of expand that, and it's just going to create a polynomial, and you can derive that. Uh, I'm showing you a simple example using the product rule though, uh, so make sure that you use the product rule to solve this. Okay, so what do we do? Well, we call each of these functions something new. So I'm going to call this um, u of x. And I'm going to call this function uh, v of x. So I've got f of x is equal to u of x times v of x. And now let's create a little formula for our product rule. So here's our formal formula here. It says if f of x is equal to u of x times v of x, like that, then f dash of x is going to be equal to u of x times uh, the derivative of v of x, v dash of x, plus um, v of x times the derivative of u of x. Uh, now this is usually simplified a little bit just to say that the derivative is equal to u v dash plus v u dash. So u times the derivative of v plus v times the derivative of u. So how am I going to set this up? Well I'm going to set it up by saying um, u of x equals x squared plus 3x. u dash of x is equal to the derivative of that, uh, 2x plus 3. Um, normally I do this bit over here, so v is or v of x is equal to 4x plus 5, and v dash x is equal to 4. Alright, so this bit of working here is a nice bit of working to get us started. Now we can put it all together. So f dash of x is equal to u v dash. So that times that. Or oh, I can do it the other way if I want. 4 times x squared plus 3x. And then I add v u dash. So 4x plus 5 times 2x plus 3. Okay, so that's it. The derivative of that is equal to that. Now, we can expand that and muck around with it a little bit, but that's that's the derivative of f of x. I'll also show you this in Leibniz notation, just so you see it both ways. Um, if I have y equals u times v, okay, um, where u and v are functions of x and y is also a function of x, uh, I can say that the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to u, now v dash, I can write v dash just like I have there, or I can write the derivative of v with respect to x, um, and then plus v times uh, the derivative of u uh, with respect to x. It's the same thing, so that formula is, a, this is the formula for the chain rule. Uh, this is also sort of the formula for the chain rule. But hopefully you get a, a sense of what we're doing here. Just don't be scared of this notation. Um, Alright, another question maybe? So here's another example, and this is where the, the product rule starts to work. Usually it's combined with the chain rule. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, here's my function. y equals this times this. And so I'll call this bit u, and I'll call this bit v, and then I'll set to work making my little table here. So I know that u is equal to x squared plus 2 squared, so it's all of all of that there. Um, and I know that u dash, well that's going to be a harder one because we've kind of got to use our chain rule here because it's a thing raised to a power, function raised to a power. So I'm going to do the fast version of the chain rule here. This 2 comes out the front. Uh, the derivative of that comes out the front, which is 2x uh, times 2x. And then we keep what we had originally. 
and we decrease the power by 1, so it's just 1. Um, that means that we're going to have 4x times x squared plus 2. Now we could expand that, but I'm going to leave it there. So that's my u dash that I'm going to use in my formula. Now v is 4x plus 1, and v dash is just 4. So now that I have those bits of information, 1, 2, 3, 4, I can use them to differentiate this. So y dash is going to be equal to u v dash. So I can multiply them together, multiply these together. So it's going to be 4 times x squared plus 2 um, squared. And then v u dash, and you can see that that's a slightly more complicated one. So multiplying this by that, we get uh, 4x plus 1 times 4x times x squared plus 2. Alright, so just to neaten that up a little bit, y dash is equal to 4 bracket x squared plus 2 squared plus, that 4x makes more sense out the front here, bracket, then this 4x plus 1, then this. Okay, um, that's, that's a pretty decent derivative right there, but we have a derivative, right? That's it. But it's not in its most simple form at the moment. We can do something factorizing. We can factorize that. Um, now, this is where the product rule starts to get a little bit tricky. Once you've actually fact once you've actually found the derivative, you can neaten it up. Okay, so this is a term, and this is a term. And we need to look at the terms and see what they have in common. All right, you can see that this is four times a bunch of junk, and this is four times a bunch of junk. So those terms have four in common. Okay, uh, now what else do they have in common? This has x squared plus 2 to the power of 2. This has x squared plus 2 to the power of 1. So that and that is something that these two things have in common. So x squared plus 2. Okay, now that's the only things that they have in common. Now, I need to ask myself, that times what makes that? Uh, okay, I need to... This is x squared plus 2. This is x squared plus 2 squared. So I need to multiply it by another x squared plus 2. Okay, so that times that. And then uh, I look at this and I say, okay, what is, what's, what's this got in common? So uh, 4 times 4, yeah, x squared plus 2, x squared plus 2. The thing it needs is a 4x plus 1. Oh, and it also needs that x there. Okay, um, so that's sort of factorized. It doesn't look much neater, but if I take some time now to look inside this square bracket, I can do... Um, keep the square bracket for a second. x squared plus 2 plus... Expand that... Um, 4x squared plus x. And then I can uh, neaten that up just a little bit further. 4 bracket x squared plus 2 bracket bracket x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared. x 2. And now I have something, I have a, a number times uh, this function times a quadratic function, and that is my nice, neat um, y dash. Oops, I'm starting to fall off the page there. Hopefully you can see that. So a couple of key ideas here. If there is a function times a function, you use your product rule, which is probably easier stated as being uv dash plus vu dash. Uh, and then once you've found the derivative, you can use it for a bunch of stuff. But if you're just being asked to find the derivative, you should probably neaten it up by doing some of that advanced factorizing down the bottom.